What did I do wrong? Nothing. Come. No! Why are you leaving me if I didn't do anything wrong? I don't understand. I thought you liked me! I do like you. I just... Tell me the truth! Why are you leaving me? What did you say? Why did you change? You're scaring me, Pearl. Okay? I wish you the best luck with your audition. Sincerely. You're not going to leave me here! I'm not staying on this bar! up bringing home nothing but the germ my mother and father would just kill me i'm worried there may be something real wrong with me mitzi how do you mean seems like there's something missing in me that the rest of the world has have you told howard well, i've never spoken about it a lot to anyone so afraid of what people might think. Pearl. Howard's your husband. He adores you. Shouldn't be afraid to tell him how you feel. I'm scared of what I might say. Well, practice on me first then. Pretend I'm Howard and you just say whatever's on your mind. I can't. Yes, you can. So go on, get it all out. Really? Yes. Trust me. you so much for leaving me here sometimes I hope you die I'm sorry I feel awful in and out but it's the truth I was curious about other men I'm sure you don't want to hear about a stranger satisfying your life and I swear it was only once it was a mistake it wasn't him that I wanted, I know that now. I wish things could just go back to the way they were before, but I don't see how they could. Not after the things I've done. What else have you done, Pearl? Oh, hell. I realize how this all must sound. Honestly, there was a time I was flattered to have someone as handsome as you pine over me. You're such a good person, I know that. I made sure to always be mindful with your heart. I never wanted you to feel jealous. It's an awful feeling like a the way it just twists and turns at your insides. I know that aching so well. I feel it. Whenever I see others whose lives come easy because the truth is I'm not really a good person. Pearl, I think I the reason I kept my eyes to the ground around other men was never to avoid hurting you. It's because I understood how lucky I was to have your attention. I may be a poor farm girl, Hera, but I'm not stupid. I spotted you the moment you came to live with us. You worked hard, like the other farm ants, but you were different. You're from somewhere. A nice, comfortable place that you could return to whenever you wanted. 
I'm so desperate to have that. All my life I've wanted off this farm. You were my ticket out. So, I made sure to never let you see who I really was. I worked like a charm too. Then, when you finally brought me back to your home to meet your family, it was just as I hoped. Life straight out of the pictures. At least that's what it felt like to me. And you didn't want it. You just wanted to stay here on our farm and that made me so angry. How could you? I'm certain you knew I hated it. You must have. How could you be so selfish and cruel after what all I've done to make you happy? I never wanted to be a mother. I loathe the feeling of it growing inside me. I felt like sickness. Pulling and sucking on me like some needy animal in the barn. How could I be responsible for another life? Life terrifies me. It's harsh and bleak and draining. I'm so relieved when it died. It was one less late keeping me trapped here, but then the war came and you left me too. Why did you leave me, Howard? I hate feeling like this. It's so pathetic. Do people like you ever feel this way? I figure you don't. You seem so perfect all the time. The Lord must have been generous to you. He never answers any of my prayers. I don't know why, what did I do? What is wrong with me? Please just tell me so maybe I can get better. I don't want to end up like mom or I want to be dancing up on the screen like the pretty girls in the pictures. I want what they have so badly. To be perfect, to be loved from as many people as possible to make up for all my time spent suffering. Sometimes I wake in the middle of the night and the fear washes over me because what if this is it? What if this is right where I belong? I'm a failure. I'm not pretty. I'm naturally pleasant or friendly. I'm not smart or funny or confident. I'm exactly what Mama said I was weak. I don't know why. What did I do? Why well, wasn't my family like yours? I hate what it feels like to be me and not you. I'm so scared that when you finally come home, you'll see me and be frightened like everyone else is. I know what I've done. The bad things. Terrible, awful, murderous things. I regret them now, but I liked how they felt. I wish I didn't, but I did. At first, it was only animals smaller than myself. Nothing but feelings, nothing that could hurt me back. Felt good. Killing's easier than you'd think. Till recently, the mom and the boy from the picture house, they were different. They were more meaningful. I hurt them so they too might know what it feels like to suffer, but poor daddy didn't deserve that. I wish I hadn't done what I did. Mama meant well. She had a hard life. She only wanted a home to feel safe and I can see that. I thought I hated her, but I just want to feel safe too. I made such a mess of things. I don't know how much more I can take. I need to clean this up. All of it. I need to make things right before you see me again. Maybe if I can turn this farm into a home for us like you wanted, things will finally be different. I can forgive. I can be who you want me to be. If you just stay with me. Please. I can't be all by myself.
love anymore. It's too hard. We can love each other. I'll do that for you. If you really meant all that till death do us part. It'd be enough. Just you and me here on this farm. All I really want is to be loved. I'm having such a hard time without it lately. Let's not just come out of here. 